Hello Fly Babies, hello Patrons. Today we're continuing with The Wisdom and Finally Loving Yourself, a gift to you from me and from Nikki at Inspired by Nikki. She has Finally Loving Yourself with Grace where you will watch the words that I give you unfold in her beautiful videography. Here we go. Today we're doing our before bed routine. Now let's go over the details of the before bed routine. This is the last thing you do at the end of the day for yourself and it is the most important thing. It is the keystone, cornerstone of all the routines because if this isn't done, then tomorrow morning won't go as well. So the first thing you're going to do is check your planner and see what's on the docket. What's up for tomorrow? What time do you need to get up? What are you doing tomorrow? What kind of clothes would you wear if you were doing that? What are you making for dinner? These things are in your planner. So take note Take your food out of the freezer if you need to. Remember what time you need to go to bed so that you're not going to be um, too tired to get up in the morning if you have to get up a little earlier or if you're trying to train yourself to get up earlier. And then we're going to take care of some things in the kitchen. So you're going to go in the kitchen and you're going to make sure that you have soap in the dishwasher and that you run it before you go to bed. Spritz out your sink with something lovely and wipe it with today's towel. Dry it out, make it shine, wipe the faucets. Then take that towel and go put it in the wash. Put a nice fresh towel out for tomorrow morning. Then you're going to go into um, the bathroom and take off your makeup. Take the day off. It's very important that you don't go to bed with a dirty face. Even if you didn't put anything on your face, it collects all kind of carcinogens during the day. So it's important for the health of your skin to wash your face at night. Put on some moisturizer. You're never too young for moisturizer. And moisturizer is not oil. So if you have oily skin, know that moisture and oil are two different things. There are specific kinds for specific skin types. Moisturize your skin. Take your bath if that's what you want to do tonight or take your shower. Get yourself ready for bed. Get your PJs on. Hang your clothes up if they're still clean. You don't have to wash your clothes every day. Take good care of your clothes. If it has a little spot, get that out and hang it up to dry. If it stinks, it's been out, you've been in a, a restaurant that it's picked up all kind of things, or maybe you cooked in your clothes and you didn't wear an apron and you splashed some things, get the spots off and put it in the wash. You do want to pre-treat. Then you're going to um, brush your teeth, wipe out your sink, and go to bed. Now when you go to bed, you're going to know that you have about 30 minutes before you'll actually probably go to sleep. So have something planned that will relax you. Is it a book you want to read? Does watching videos on your phone keep you awake? Then if it does, don't do that. Maybe an actual physical book would be better for you. Something that calms you down. Some people watch TV in bed, some people can't. Every couple is different. So you might need a black sleeping mask. Maybe the lights from outside are bothering you. And or maybe you need earplugs because someone snores. Whatever it takes to get your rest is important. Okay, so that's the before bed routine. Now when you're going on your date, you want to make sure that you kind of do a before date routine and then when you come home, make sure, even if it's late, to take that makeup off, wash your face, get yourself cleaned up and get in your PJs. Um, oh, I forgot to tell you, take out your clothes. When you're looking at your book, that's the time you go pick out your clothes for tomorrow based on what you've decided. So I like to hang mine behind the door in my bathroom. So when I go in there in the morning, there's no reason for me to go back to my closet. It's right there. I get dressed right there. I just hang my, my gown on the back of the door for tomorrow night or for tonight. That's how I do it. Unless it's dirty, then I go put it in the laundry. So that's the before bed routine. Now you might want to add one or two things. Maybe you want to read some um, of your Bible or maybe you journal or maybe you, and there's something else that you do at night, I don't know. Maybe you like to um, make sure you've taken care of your pets. Maybe that's something you wanna add, but don't add too many things. Another thing is, some of us get way too tired and we just can't do it. So my thing to say to you is, go ahead and do your before bed routine earlier in the day. Maybe the only thing you'll have left to do is brush your teeth, but you've washed your face, you're in your PJs, etc. You've laid out your clothes, the kitchen is clean. So that might be something to consider. But that's it, it's a very simple thing, but it makes a huge difference in the morning. I hope you do this, and I can't wait for you to watch this video unfold in, uh, in the beautiful work and videography done by my sweet friend, Nikki. So make sure to click the link and go watch it.